If you are working with a team, then I would say using a project management system is an absolute must. It is going to allow you to be so much more organized to ensure that all of your tasks get done and that your entire team is on the same page. It's going to allow you to streamline workflows and so much more, which really help you achieve your business goals and move forward. My favorite project management system is Asana. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like to work with a team within Asana. So first things first, what do you use Asana for? Asana is actually going to house all of your company to do. So it will be the company wide to do list and where all of your projects live. And then this will break down even further and it will become the to do list for each individual team member. And not just this, it also is going to be where a lot of your team communication happens as well. So for example, in my company, we do not email each other internally at all. There's no emails happening, which I absolutely love. And I will talk more about the communication side in just a little bit. So this is what the inside of Asana looks like. And as you can see here, it's really just like a digital to-do list. And right now I have all of the individual tasks assigned to myself. But if I was working with a team, I could also assign tasks to them instead. So I'm going to add in a new task. For example, I need someone to edit our ad copy. So I'm going to type that in, then go over to the assignee tab and assign it to them and give them a due date as when I would like that done. So rather than tasks being communicated through email or just through meetings, you have a documented place where all of your tasks are written down and assigned to the right person. It's little things like this that make a massive difference in the way that your company runs. So in this case, I've assigned this task to Neve, so she is going to see that on her end and be able to get to work. So not only is the task documented here, but if you hover over it and click details, you'll see that you have a full description area. So right here is where I could give Neve all of the information that she needs in order to successfully complete this task. So for example, I could just write in text instructions but I could also send her a video explaining exactly what I want her to do. In order to do that, all you need to do is click this icon right here. That is going to open up the Vimeo and Asana integration. It acts just like Loom, so it is a screen recording that you can talk over and you can give them step-by-step -step instructions. That is one of the best productivity hacks ever is rather than trying to explain it all in text is to simply record a video and explain it that way. So for this, I would just click on that, choose whether I wanted to do screen, camera, or both. So in this case, I'll just do screen. I'll choose my microphone and then hit start recording. Okay, then you can do either your entire screen or a window. I'm just gonna do entire screen to keep this simple. Okay, so then I could record, I could tell her exactly where to find whatever information she needed. Um, if I needed to explain some examples maybe of ad copy that I loved, I could go ahead and do that. Once I'm done recording, I'm just gonna click this icon right here. Awesome, then I'm going to click add video and this is going to add the video directly to the task. So that will really speed up your work. So we've spoken about providing all the details that your team member needs to successfully accomplish that task, but you can also use Asana to communicate about your tasks as well. So in terms of communication, if it is a task or project that we've already determined we are going to move ahead on, then we will communicate internally within Asana, okay? If you need more of a back and forth conversation, then we will use the tool Slack. And if it requires a face-to-face -face chat, we need to get on and we need to brainstorm and actually talk things out, then we will use the tool Zoom. But yeah, let's say that Neve has completed this task and now she's asking me for feedback. I can come into the task itself 
and provide my feedback here. Okay, and we can tag each other within comments, tasks as well. You can just hit the at symbol and then start typing in their name to tag them like that. Okay, so I'm gonna hit comment and that will live right here under the actual task, which keeps things so much more organized, right? So no longer are you going to lose feedback through different email threads and what questions, what you discussed, right? It's now actually going to live within that specific task. Okay, so you can comment back and forth and chat about your specific task. You can also come down here. Let's say that Neve has just completed this task, right? She's marked it as complete. I'm like, awesome. I'm going to see that she's marked it as complete. Then I can come in here down to the comment section, go to this icon, the star icon right here on the right. I can click on that and all of these adorable little gifts are going to appear and you can just share one of those to show your appreciation. So that's how it's gonna come up. Louise has showed their appreciation and cute little icon. <laughs> so that is something I actually use a lot and it's just a quick and easy way for you as a team to acknowledge what has been done and show your thanks. Okay, so back to the project itself, really what you want when it comes to assigning is it's not just you as the company owner or the manager to assign tasks. We actually allow all of us to assign tasks. So just as I assign this task over here to Neve, she can also assign tasks to me or to Taylor and it all works nicely together. So as you start using Asana more, you will start to use this inbox tab more. So if I click on that here, you can see all the latest happenings within your space, anything that you are part of. So any tasks that you've been assigned to or that you are commenting back and forth on, you'll receive those updates here, just like how Taylor has commented here and let me know that this looks great. So I could like that if I wanted, I could comment back to her here or I could simply leave an appreciation. So every single day you will go through your inbox tab and once you have dealt with that particular task, you can just go over here and you can archive it and clear out your inbox. So now I'm going to show you a few other ways you can take your Asana organization to a whole other level. So for example, on this task here, this one actually has multiple subtasks. So what you can do is you can assign this all to the right team member that's going to do that. Perfect. And then you can actually set these up as dependencies. So for example, Neve can't actually edit the first draft until I have written the first draft. So I'm going to go in here into write first draft, and then I'm going to add a dependency. Now this is a premium feature, but I would say that it is totally worth it. You can upgrade to premium and then you can determine whether something is blocking that task from being done or not. So this is exactly what it will look like. It will say that it is blocked by a specific task. And so that way, when your team member checks it off, the person that is next in line and is waiting on that task to be complete will receive a notification in their inbox that it is now unblocked and they can start working on it. So this is a feature that I love and I would recommend adding. So here's my premium space where I'm actually working on this video. So I could go ahead, add dependencies, and I could say whether this task is being blocked by or it is currently blocking. So this one right now is currently blocking um, the fact that Neve can email this out, right? So I could put that here and that is going to link those tasks together. The next thing you can do within an Asana task is ensure that your team members have the right links or files that they need so that they're not constantly searching for the right information. So I would just place that right here in the description area. To add an attachment, all you need to do is go up here to this icon, click on that, and you can either attach a file from your computer or Google Drive, Dropbox, whatever you need. So I'm gonna click my computer and I'm going to add a little image that I have. Okay, great. This is from my previous video where we were showing you guys that you can do this. 
<laughs> okay, but enough cats. Okay, so that is how you attach files and then any links that you need, you can simply paste here. Perfect, so all about optimizing and making things easily accessible and not wasting time searching for emails or files. We're cutting down on that completely. Another thing you can do is utilize rules, which are basically automations. So for this, you're going to click customize and then you will see rules. Now this is something you will want to upgrade to business for, but again, definitely worth it. So back in my Asana, which is on business, I'm going to go to rules. I'm going to click on that. And now you'll see all these different rules that you can add in. So for example, let's go ahead and create a custom rule. What you can do is you can choose a trigger like once a task is added to a particular section, let's say once it's added to our revenue section, you can assign it to a teammate. So you're gonna click choose an action, then you just click the assignee button and you can choose where every time a task is moved to that section, a team member is assigned that task. So for example, I'm going to choose Taylor here and create that rule and this is automatically going to happen every time a task is moved to that section. And finally, the last thing that I love about working with a team in Asana is that you can see what everyone is working on at all times. For this, all you need to do is go over here to where you can see their profile pictures. Okay, you're going to click on their profile picture and that will pull up all tasks that have been assigned to that team member and that they are working on. And of course, when this all gets filled out, you'll be able to see exactly what they're working on, on what day and what is actually coming up for them. This is a really great way of keeping your finger on the pulse of what is happening company-wide and ensuring that no one is being totally overwhelmed with work. So yeah, that is just a few of the things that you can do with Asana. Don't forget to sign up for my free workshop for more on using Asana for business. I hope that you enjoyed getting some insight into how to work with a team within Asana. So if you really want to up-level your business this year, I would say getting set up in a project management system is one of the top ways that you can do it. And if you want more help with setting up Asana for your online business, click the link in the description below and sign up for my free workshop. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't for more about productivity, Asana, and online business. And I'll see you real soon with another video.